What's going on, folks? It is not another vape show. In the last quarter, the last few seconds of the game, ST is here to save the day again. So, Heavy's having some internet issues at the moment. If he gets back up and going, maybe he'll hop over here, but we don't know. But, why don't I over and cover this screen and let you see who we got. Look at this, look at this rowdy bunch of folks right here. Yes, we've got the man himself. Me. <laughs> we got the man himself, me. But, no, anyway, I don't care. Well, Mark, it's your damn show. You take it away. <laughs> uh, um, we were not supposed to have a show tonight, but you guys did it, so I'll, I'm going to sit in on this one. I don't know what this is called, but. The collab box by Plan B. There you go with the BTF CRDA, and we got the Fuku Drag 2 with the, uh, what should we call it? The baby version 2. And then I'm vaping on some alchemist. I don't know where it's at. It just got in, and I'm kind of like burned out. Take it away, Ronnie. Hi, everybody. Uh, vaping on the Delta Revenant and uh, TVL. Got that still rocking that. Got the Tahiti version 2 with Cali RDA on there. I got the Torrin mech mod with the Torrin RDA. And I got this thing from Cool Vapor. I don't even know what the fuck the name of it is, but it's pretty damn cool. And I figured since it's, uh, uh, what you call it, Military Day or whatever, Veterans Day, I figured, hey, why not rock a camo setup, right? With the uh, MK RTA on top. And that's it for me. Why don't I take it away, Mr. Lovely and Beautiful, Mr. Scott Taylor. All right. So first and foremost, happy Veterans Day to everybody that is serving, retired, all that good stuff. Uh, shout out to my brother, 25 years in the Marine Corps. Love you, brother. Um, what am I vaping on? That's all I'm vaping on. No, I'm just kidding. I ain't even vaping on that right now. I'm vaping. No, I'm not vaping on that either. What am I vaping on? Oh, Infinex. And the detonator with the screen tank yes actually i'm vaping on probably quite a bit of shit but this is such an impromptu thing i had to pull this show together real quick that i'm just not all with it at the moment but this is what we do this is who we is so i ain't even drinking water now. i'm drinking a damn coke look at that shit damn burger king isn't that crazy I got yes. hmm I got 40 ounce. Yeah, buddy. You drinking that old English, ain't you, son? O-E, son. Are you guys having... What the fuck is that thing? Steve. Um, That's a night. That's uh, pretty creepy. So <laughs> Damn, Steve is always on top. So, I'm certain a lot of folks would like to hear how the event is going. But Mark only went to like 30 minutes of it the whole week and he was there. So, he's probably the wrong person to ask. I was there for a good hour, a good hour at least. Damn, we got all kind of extra folks jumping in. Well, I, I'm certain the folks are excited and want to hear something about the show. What what one good thing can you tell us about it? Uh, they had a lot of THC and CBD, a lot of vape models, Dude. and uh, a few mods and some juice. Well, now you picked up some uh, of that wild weed that grows out there in the north, don't you? Yeah, we sat around last night and smoked it all. Nice. Damn. Yeah. How was that experience for you? I think Mike's turning gangster. Look it at, was, uh, <laughs> Mike is gangster over there. Y'all can see Mike in the back. He is, we won't even say what Mike is, but... So, give us some news about this, man. I mean, don't don't be all quiet and shit on me now. Why got to put it down me? It was, I mean, it was a, I don't know, it was kind of a nice expo, but half of it was laid out in CBD and the other half was vaping. And when I say half, I actually mean like half the building was <clears throat> related to CBD, hemp, and like uh, THC products. You went to the convention? For about an hour. <laughs> okay. That's what... Second. That's what I asked, Mike. I said, you know, I don't even know if he was there or not this weekend, but. I was there to try the pizza, and then that was it. Okay. 
Was that a disappointment to be at an event where half of it was basically marijuana and CBD and then the other half vaping products or what? It, it, it usually would be, but you got to figure if you're in Vegas and if it's legal for personal use, why not combine the two together, I guess? I mean, you know. Well, did not. I think any other place it would have been weird, but Vegas, I don't know. It just kind of, like for me, it wasn't really... But did they just make that legal there? I don't know. That's what I'm wondering because I don't remember it being legal here. Because it wasn't. When we were there a few years ago, it wasn't anywhere at the last event we were at. It's legal now for personal use. You can walk in, grab a pipe, and start smoking. Nice. So there was people walking around the event smoking marijuana? That would be a, No, there wasn't, but you could smell it. So somebody uh, I mean, smoking it somewhere. I got you. But you seen that photo I posted all those bags of pounds of look like weed that was actually CBD. I did there see that. There were CBD cigarettes there. I, th Your blue. I think I think Amy's a little on the uh, kind of crazy side right now, isn't she? <laughs> She's been stuck in the trunk for the past two hours. Look at my mod I uh, got at the share. Hey Amy, what'd you get? Yeah, what is that? That is a Luxotic Oh, okay, cool. It's a Jabo gift. Was Jabo there? He was. Did you anybody see the? Uh, he <laughs> messed around with his Orion. Did anybody get a chance to see that? Yes, he actually messed. Around. It looks really super cool. So cool, he right? Drop solo cap as well. Completely cleared it out. It was pretty freaking neato. So. That is really cool. He put this together for me, so this is one of those pearly white editions, but he gave me the purple doors. Nice. Very cool. Yeah, I saw uh, I saw on Instagram he like he took the doors off and put them all with them. He did the cap all them, the button all them. Looks pretty cool. Uh Sean Kirkwood, yes. I know that you are very, very disappointed that you didn't get to see Mark at this event. <laughs> Again. Nah, so, so, there was somebody that was so sad. I'm not even going to believe it. Really matter. They messaged me on Instagram. Look, it looks like it looks like Yoda passing by with crazy eyes. <laughs> Amy Clear for so la there. last night for y'all that didn't attend our little show I had on my other channel last night. So me and Mark was sitting there talking for a bit, and somebody in chat chimed up to say, hey, I drove 400 miles, you know, I didn't even get to see you, that's so jacked up, and Mark started feeling bad. So Mark said, hey, I'll do breakfast with you, meaning today, and that person was like, oh yeah, definitely. So Mark was like, okay, I gotta do this now. Well, it come to find out it was Amy trolling the chat oh. under a different name. Wow. <laughs> And got his ass. So it went as far as an email, and I see the email like Amy. Why? I'm like what? Shane, why is your name Amy? And That's also, awesome. That is so awesome because I was I was watching a little bit of that last night, and I saw that the guy was like, "Yeah, I can't believe I drove all the way out here. Yep. It's crazy." Yeah. Wow. That shit was funny as hell. So she got the ultimate troll on him, of course. That was pretty damn good. Mark was like stressed to the gills that he was actually going to have to meet somebody beyond the vent and sit there and have like a long, lengthy breakfast. Mark, I was going to McDonald's drive through probably. He's just going to sit out there in a the parking lot next to him in a car and chit yeah, chat. Some, you know, shout out. I mean, at least take the guy to Denny's or something, man. Shout out, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> All those good places to eat out there, and you would have chose a shithole, but that is, that's understandable. That's uh, the way we do it. Well, you could, if that person would have been real, you could have at least had them out to the house, you know, and let them meet the whole crew and spend like, you know, half a day with the crew. <laughs> but I don't think, I don't, we had to this for this extra person because we had Amy in the trunk. So. His name is Patrick King. Patrick. They so say, Patrick King, you're my favorite. There you go. <laughs> so uh, tonight I will give you all a heads up. This is not, not going to be a full two hour event. 
Uh, I think I've done something live every night for some reason, and I'm kind of burned out. So we're going for an hour tonight. That is going to be the max. I apologize for that, for all the future people that are about to get pissed off. But... <laughs> Uh, so any questions floating around in chat at the moment? Any any donations tonight that are made to this show will not go to Mark or Ronnie. I just want to be upfront about that too. So mm -hmm. just letting you know, folks. Uh, let's see what we got rolling out here this evening. I saw. Uh, did you guys go? Out, did you go out for the steakhouse last night too? Because I saw like a bunch of pictures of steaks flying around all over the place. That was the best steak I've ever had. I think. What'd you get? Did you get the ribeye? No, I got the fillet. Ah, pussy. I can't I like believe you didn't get the like the chicken fingers and fries while you were there. There, I looked for chicken fingers. They didn't have them. I love it. So the lawyer has started off the donations tonight. Thank you for that ninety nine cents there, Tom. You. Are a yeah. mighty fine gentleman, sir. <laughs> I'm rolling at night. Yep. Tom did lose five thousand at the casino, so I can see why he's only donating ninety nine cents. So wait, though, so, so you go to a steakhouse, right? And you can't can't find yourself chicken fingers and fries, but you get yourself a fillet. Why don't you get yourself a fucking monster brontosaurus, man? Because I like steak with like no fat on it at all. Like I like to eat the whole steak. I don't like fat. I don't like the fucking gristle shit. You also like it well done too, right? Which is nasty in any way to begin with. He likes it actually like burnt to the point where it's like charcoal and it's like <sighs> crunchy, like you know. Yep. And then I pick it up in my hand. And I just start eating it. So wait, I, I just want to tell you something, man, because I used to do the same thing too, right? I I ruined a million cuts of steak that way, just making it well done. Back when I was a teenager, I didn't know any better. I'm telling you, man, I had a rare steak one time, man. It's like a religious experience. I'm telling you, you're going to fucking love it. You have a rare steak one time, that's all well, you'll have. I, it was well done, but it was so juicy, I thought it was like medium. But no, it was dark all the way through. Did you uh, put it on like two pieces of bread and eat it like a sandwich? Uh, hold on one second before you answer that. <laughs> Thank you for the donations there, Mr. Stephen Eagles. Mark, you're looking skinny in your face. Good work. Ron and ST, uh, have you guys tried Bogan's Brew Kurang Cola? Oh, God. Here. Keep you off the real soda, boys. Uh, I don't normally drink Coke at all. This is the first one I've had, and I can't tell you how long, and I really can't. And it's only half drank. It's probably about to go in the trash. But it was just one of those things. Look, look at all these folks creeping in. Uh, thank you for the donation there, Mr. Blind Meat Shield. Just because Mark ain't getting it. Yes. You fucking cocksuckers. That's what we were hoping for. We got we got them all starting to uh, come in behind Mark now. He doesn't even know it. Don't Mark, start donating. Mark has got some like upbeat news, don't you? What happens this Friday? I'm very blotchy because it's like 70 degrees. And actually, it's 72 degrees in here. And yeah. Oh, I'm on Friday. What's Thank what's God. what's happening this Friday? Get my eye cut open. The surgery. Just he likes to float off. See, it's floating off. <laughs> the surgery will commence this coming Friday for Mark's eye surgery. We're hoping by the week after he is actually going to be able to see for y'all. So no more squinting, no more crazy <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh my, my, Mike's gonna have me laughing back there. Are they? Uh, are they actually like correcting it, or like what are they doing? Cutting off the lens, I guess, removing the cataract and then putting another lens on. I didn't know they did that shit by hand. I thought they used lasers. No, they did. Yeah, I've heard that. I've heard that. Holy fuck, they're going to take a scalpel to my eye? That's a little. You better have a steady hand. Well, they're going to be fucked up anyways. It's not going to matter. Hmm. Not like you can see the shit anyway. Yeah, good point. As long as I don't feel it, I don't care. Somebody said surgery ain't gonna fix ugly. Well, he's not—he's not going yeah. for that particular type surgery. So that was, rough. that was a little bit below the belt, but it may be ugly to you. But your wife wasn't complaining last night. That's for damn sure. Damn, I have no say in all that. That is between you, him, and Mark. So uh, that's even if you have a wife. No. More than likely, in this show, you're probably single. 
Well, this is the same person that was telling a guy last night that he was a girl because he had long hair, and that particular gentleman got pretty upset, but I think they finally worked it out. I see him in chat with his long blonde hair. Where's he at? Yeah. Uh, Was it Louie? Mm-hmm. Yes. So, uh... He likes when you stick it in and leave it in. Nice. I got my Orion back this week. <laughs> I went out for warranty service and came back super fast. I don't know why I was bitching so much about it. Well, I know why I was bitching, but anyway, I paid 7 bucks to have it sent there, and they sent it back. They paid for the shipping. I literally had it back. I sent it out on a Tuesday. I had it back by Thursday. Two days. It's crazy fast. Well... <laughs> And now they're fixing to break out the new ones. Wow, you got you've just got a entourage of shit going on there, don't you, kid? Yep, you got it. it smells good too. It must be the great. I think it's the great Gen Monster. Oh, yeah. tell the folks about that because I don't know if everybody's heard yet. Dude, it's fucking sweet as a son of a bitch. What? That grape Gen Monster, that PB and whatever. Oh, yeah. it's supposed to be really good, right? Yeah. It's sweet. Like, Fucking that shit with some water or something. I don't know who you are, but you're probably about to be one of my favorites. Thank you for the donation from Get Busy Living or Get Busy Dying. He says, so you can get busy living, baby. Thank you there. Whoever's behind you, Brian, Mike. I see eyeballs coming in from all over the place. Yeah, fucking crazy eyes all over. No. Yeah. Damn, I thought you had the crazy eyes in this bunch. <laughs> so, did y'all pick up any hardware from this event yet, or is it just like nothing much going on there? That one mech mod that I don't know the name of, that, every, that Brian made everyone buy. The Bestia, yeah, that's a fucking awesome mech mod. I've known a lot about Bestia. Uh, Lou, I've, I've got to mess with Lou's when I saw him a couple uh, months back, it's he loves Bestia. It's a really nice. It's a very small twenty one seven hundred, right? The smallest one I think I've ever seen. Hold on. It's a t- I only had to pay two fifty, but we found out at the very end of the show that if Brian got all of us to buy one, he would get his for free. Wow. So we got that's some- pretty. That's pretty jacked up. That is pretty mm-hmm. jacked up for sure. Uh, question. Never been to an expo. Are mod prices any better there than retail? It all depends. Uh, that's a very all depends. Some people will hook you up. Some people won't. I don't really ever know of a whole lot of price gouging going on, but I do know there's a lot of people that don't budge off of price that you can normally get off of, uh, you know, vendor site or something. So. Yeah, get in like during the B two B. You can sometimes get shit for wholesale price. Yeah. Oh my god! Look, <laughs> see that down. We got shit going on in the balcony. We got it all going on. What are they doing? There's no telling in this show. Uh, thank you for the donation, there, TJ Center. What's up, ST? Slept almost twelve hours last night. Very awesome on you there, sir. No, tell Fields to get his fucking Mexican ass in here. Uh, Crazy. Idea. I think they got got a hold of some of that CBD. I think that they're all on CBD. You're not even a part of that. Uh, I am. Yes. Okay. Very good on you then. I bought some CBD gummies gummy today. They cost fucking sixty five dollars. What? T- today? Yeah. Mm-hmm. At the whatever street we're at. Yeah. Yeah, but at the expo, you could have gotten a fucking. Pound yeah. of shake for eighty bucks. I ain't gonna smoke no damn CBD. Fuck that. Uh, oh Bruce, God. Bruce wants to know, St, which pod do you use in the Orion? I had used my point five forever, but now I'm on this point two five, and I'm kind of like strictly on it now. I've been enjoying it more. <laughs> but I also went into Eastcribe and made some changes on some stuff, so I've kind of even boosted it just a hair and. I found, I found a profile that I'm enjoying. What was uh, that? I just went in there and messed with it tonight. What's that automatic thing? Is, it, is that an automatic draw, or what does that mean? Automatic. 
Yeah, there's a setting on there that says uh, draw. It says something, and then it says automatic or manual or push button to fire. That's what it says. This is manual fire or automatic fire. I don't know. I never seen that on there. I mean, you gotta you gotta hit the button. Hold on. Quick donations from Stephen Eagles. Mark any new products at the expo. How's Tony's new pulse? Also, how much did Mike and Brian smoke? <laughs> Damn. Well, Mike and Brian, they tried out the CBD cigarettes. They actually going to sponsor the vape team, I think, starting Thursday. Nice. Wow. We got a new sponsor there. Um, Tony B, I think. Uh, Tony B hooked up with some chick in the bathroom, so I don't know what happened there. Wow. And so, yeah. then, uh, what else happened? Oh, any new products? Uh, the Rebirth version 2 got presented. So apparently every one of your questions were just a crock of shit to him and you're not going to get any real answers. So I can, I can kind of help on this answer. Mark was not there long enough to know if there's new products out there. Uh, I'm excited for the, uh, the bonds of Mac. Anybody get that email from Vanny Vape this week? No, Vanny Vape doesn't deal at least with me or Mark. So yeah, if you guys have any like serious questions about the expo, you might want to wait till Mike and Brian get back. They could probably answer them. Yeah, they were but, actually there, so I couldn't even tell you what building it was in. Probably. No, you could probably get a better understanding of the expo if you just go to Instagram and look at pictures on there that people have posted, <laughs> opposed to asking Mark. So. Uh, do, 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 do. Did you see anything cool in the modders gallery this time? <laughs> Here we go. Um, those little there's a lot of squonk mods, but I don't really think Ariel. Ariel was there, your buddy. Yes, I know Ariel was in. He was up in the modders gallery. Yes, I am. In the Where's Ronnie at? I've been talking to him and I thought he was gonna be here. I got a whole box of shit he's gonna review. I'm like, ah, oh, he's not here with us. <clears throat> oh shit! Yep. So, talking to him. Uh, yeah, so if you've got questions on this fine Sunday evening <laughs> show, just don't ask about the event. The uh, highlight to my weekend was I picked this up. So I decided to show that on one of the one of the videos. That is And that's real that's real gold. I was gonna say that is gold. I mean that's yeah. like a golden moment. Yeah, I don't with plastic shit. Okay. Uh, question for you, Mark. Uh, they want to know what mod you're vaping on. What is it? This thing? I don't know, Ronnie. What is that? That is the collab box from TVL and Plan B, I think. Because though it's made in China, it's fucking probably the heaviest mod ever. It's all brass, parallel. Mm -hmm. And it's what, the, the TVL's son or brother? Company. It's the sun, TVL and TVL sun. It's, a cl it's called the collab box. The battery caps are nice though. Really, you don't have to. You don't need a screwdriver or a fucking penny or a coin to unscrew them. They got narrow rings, right? Yeah, that is pretty nice. But you're not going to bring this thing out of the house. It's way too fucking heavy. Yeah, you said that thing's like a paperweight, isn't it? <laughs> is it heavy on the wall with it? Probably. Is it heavier than the um? It's the the Revo. The no, the, the Revo. Remember the Revo? The Favorite Nomads one? Yeah, I would think so. I don't know. Yeah, it's been a while since I held it. I don't know. Yeah, it's, oh, yeah, it's definitely heavier than the Revo. I was fixing so that thing just by the looks of it, it looks heavier. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. And then I got this fine piece. Yeah, buddy. That's nice. Even though I... Uh, the only thing that shows this tank is because the coils are actually been pretty reliable. Hold on now. No you dryness. could use a bumper on this so it doesn't break. I could. You yeah. traveled there with that smoke mod, and that's all you've talked about for the past no. week or two. And I don't think I've seen you hold it at once. Oh, the grip. You're right. The grip is up. You're right, because I don't know, when I go out, if I have two batteries, it'll last me the entire day as opposed to having that one twenty one seven hundred. I got you. So that's the only reason why I've been using this the whole time. Got you. Uh, I think that's one of the reasons Tony B didn't talk to me. 
because I was actually sporting the, the hoop and drag. I don't think he cares about that anymore. He gave me a dirty look, and then he's, he turned his head when I was vaping on this. Oh, well, that's true, because y'all had dinner night before last at the same table, and I think I noticed him giving you some dirty looks. Yeah, new t-shirt. Oh, those are cool. So when you're doing a juice review, you just have to wear the shirt. Yeah, then you, yeah. Then you don't need the warning. Or you can just put the warning label on the screen, but that is pretty cool right there. Uh, Amy, Amy, you still there? It is. It says the warning on it. Well, yep. my, well Jen, Jen told me uh, yesterday, she's like, I didn't know Amy and, and uh, Angela were going to Vegas. She's like, we could have went. I'm like, oh, well. Oh, my God. Are you serious? Well, well tell her well, to. She end. wanted to go, but. Lying, liar. She's full of crap. <laughs> I swear to God. I was just <laughs> talking to my wife about it today. I swear. I thought it was pretty interesting, too. Because she never wants to go to these things. Thanks, Ryan. Cool story. Uh, so Catherine Nobles has a question. I saw I missed you a little earlier. This is to everybody on the panel. How do y'all feel about the FDA proposed limiting flavored e cig products to vape shops only? Well, I was thinking about that. I don't know. It could be a good thing, it could be a bad thing. I think it could be good because a lot of the kids, I guarantee you, get most of their flavored pods and shit like that from gas stations and convenience stores so it could be a good thing getting rid of them but also yeah. that as the new smoker can't just walk into a gas station and buy pot, a flavored one yeah but um, you know what's fucked up anyway though is it's not going to matter because in new york uh, charles schumer wants to get rid of fucking vaping altogether period he said they want to do an outright ban in 2019 complete ban of everything flavors e-cigs everything can they do that? I'm guessing. I don't know. I mean, this guy Charles Schumer does. He's a he's a Democrat in New York, and he's a real he, he's a dick, man. He does a lot of bullshit laws and regu regulations and shit. But he's like very like uh like gun ho about everything. So if he says something, most times he usually gets it done. But I know I know they were talking about flavors and stuff. But from what I heard, it was flavors and everything. But I don't know. That's what I not to scare anybody or make anybody paranoid. But that's what I heard. Well. And, by not selling it in gas stations, that'll prevent like uneducated shop or gas station owners selling vape products to people that they have no clue about. Yeah. So uh, maybe it could be a good thing. It'd be a good thing for vape shops, that's for sure. <laughs> All I can say on it at the moment, there are so many things going on right now that the FDA is going to decide on. It... <laughs> It's almost just like a wait and see thing. I mean, yeah. Regardless of how I feel about it, you know, at the end of the day, it's not going to matter how I do feel about it. So, um, I mean, my, my hopes would be that they would just leave this industry alone completely, but that that's just not the case. So, there's just too many things up in the air at the moment. What the hell is that? I looks like a clip tickler. We're trying to have a serious advocacy conversation <laughs> about the future of vaping. You know, it's funny that there are a lot of, not not to call this person ignorant, but somebody just wrote in chat like, oh, and not everybody lives in New York, but a lot of people don't realize what happens in New York and happens in California happens pretty much everywhere. So yeah, a lot of times most states will take their cues from New York and California. Always happens. So Yeah. Oh, and it's not like there's just one thing on the table that we're trying to take care of here. It seems like there is a shit ton of things. And it seems like every week something new comes out that they're going after. So, I mean, it's almost getting kind of hard to keep up with everything. But yeah. that's not one of my specialties. But at the end of the day, if I had a wish, I wish they would just leave this industry alone. Well, yeah. But there, unless... Since they don't get their share of the money, they're not going to leave it alone. No. So. That's what Mike said anyways. I have no clue what you're talking about. Mike's got a cue card. He's telling me what to say. <laughs> Mike. Yeah, Mike, in a few short words, what did you think about the event? Uh-oh. I miss vapes. Oh, hey, Stephanie. How you doing? 
I'm creeping. I see. <laughs> Mike. Yo. In a few short words, what'd you think about the event? Lousy. Really? That was good. It was oh. all right. I can't really judge an event because only because uh, I bet they didn't want in the UK. UK one is just so good that I compare it to that. Gotcha. For U.S. standards, it was all right. Well. Yeah, I mean, it was like laid out nice. It was in a nice building. It was just half CBD, half A. Yeah. And a lot of, you know, they, well, they had the Modern's Gallery. So they had mods there. I did catch a little bit of Tony's. Uh, live video where he walked around but uh I don't know I don't feel like I got to say just a whole lot but I don't know I think he, I think he was just like hanging around the modders gallery that's what I saw yeah. I guess when it comes down to it if you've been to a few expos in different areas you pretty much know what they're about they're either big or they're small but they house pretty much the same thing so yep and then after a while, I just start seeing the same juice companies, and yeah. you can only vape so much juice until it all starts tasting the same. Like you could try yes. the first three or four different juice companies, and then when you try the fifth one, you're like, okay, I can't taste anything. I'm all, I got to vape this, you know. And that's always the problem. Like I know when we go to an event, because we'll get up in the morning, we all meet up, we have coffee, we hang out forever, and we're vaping like freight trains. So about middle of the day, when we actually get into these events and then walk around and then taste some juice, by then my taste buds are shot. So it's not like if you've thrown something special out, it's just, uh, you know, I'm like, ugh. But. Yeah. Yeah. For fun, I mean, you got to like, you, you got to be social, but you have to be, you have to socialize and you have to like people. If you're antisocial like I am. I don't like people like you do. Yeah. Don't go to because it's going to be boring to you. You have to socialize. Geo Foxwoods is a pretty big one, except for this year. It won't technically be at Foxwoods. It'll be at Mohegan. I've never been in there before, but from what I've heard, it's just as big, if not larger, or something by them like that. Yeah, so. yeah I've been to both. It's 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 the same thing. But <laughs> is it far from the uh, Foxwoods? No, it's only like uh, maybe like a half hour, about a half hour ride uh, north. So, it is, they already posted like the countdown timer for that show. I think yeah. March. Yeah. I think it's, well, it's only four months away, really. Five months yeah, away. It's not. It's not that really. It'll be here before we know it. So now I know for that event, pretty much this whole crew, the whole fam will be at that one. Uh, I guess that's kind of our new Detroit. <laughs> so right. <laughs> I like Detroit, too, just because it's not even really the event, because the event's small, and there really ain't shit in there going on, but we've always seemed to have a good time at Detroit. Yeah, I think I liked it, because there was nobody there. Like, you walk in, there's a few people there. Yeah. Uh, is there any in New York coming soon? Uh, Ronnie has been talking about one for a while, but I've, I don't know when that is. And of course, he walks off. He had to eat dinner. Dinner time. Uh, yes, kid. Bass. Steve is there with them. He's been quiet the whole weekend, which typically he is. Uh, yeah, there is one in New York in July. Uh, it's going to be at the Coliseum. If anybody's familiar with the Coliseum, and if you're from New York, you probably know uh, Nassau Coliseum. It's a real shithole, but I don't think they're going to fix it by the time the expo comes around. But it's still, it'll be cool. But yeah, that one and uh, Mohegan Sun will be there too. That'll be up by us. There might be that. I think I got an email the other day about I think the Brooklyn show was coming back again. I think in March, but those are like the three. Real quick shout out to Dermont Dillon. Thank you for the donation. Any of the crew going to be at the expo in Charlotte, North Carolina? Uh, myself, I will not be. I don't know about. I guess Mark is a no. Ronnie, I know, is a no. Uh, <laughs> There's a good satellite. Mike and Brian could possibly be there, but I can't. I can't, you know, completely confirm on that. 
Oh, yeah, uh, Ronnie did mention before that the one in New York, if y'all need a place to stay, you can stay at his house. He'll be Hell taking yeah. in everybody, and he's cooking for everybody. Yes, I'm going to have a big family barbecue while yes. everybody's here. Do -do -do. Well, hold on. We got, what, a little over 500 people watching. Ronnie, you got any news for the vaping community? No, no news yet. Okay, well. No, <clears throat> no you're not. No, no official news yet. Okay. <clears throat> I thought Ronnie's going to break down a little bit of news, but I guess not. Not yet. Soon, maybe. We'll see. Uh, Stan, there's never events that's going to come close to you. You're always going to have to travel like the rest of us, so. What does that say? Pimp? Yeah, buddy. Where'd you get that at? I'm going to remove this gold plate, probably sell it for a couple million, and then just put a mod on there. Did you steal that from somebody out on Fremont Street? Uh, yeah, actually I did. Lil Wayne was actually walking around. I ripped it off his neck. Well, no, Lil Wayne's in chat right now. Okay, so Gregory Brown was there? My bad. Little John, Lil Wayne. They're both little. Well, I guess he wanted to give back to the community somewhat, so I guess he did. He gave you his chain, so pretty cool. <laughs> Uh, Louis says, I'll be over Ronnie. That works. Uh, Terry says, hey, ST, I got an email from you today thanking me for my comments on your review today. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Who sent you an email? Uh, Lil uh, John, I know, Lil John, Lil Wayne. I don't, I can't keep up with this shit, Brittany. Hold on, Brittany, is y'all shit back up? Uh, Joe, uh, whatchamacallit, somebody at DB Squonks asked about, uh, about authenticating MCV products. You can message Joy Soriano, the owner of MCV. He'll help you out. Ah, Stand Up 3D's out there in chat. What's going on, Jesse? Stand Up. Thank you again for the setup there. You did an awesome job on that. I know Heavy's loving his, too. Ronnie's still waiting for his, but it's all good. I know it's coming. Anybody else get a letter from Element Vape about them being hacked? Yes. All right. Now, I also received one myself. I do not remember purchasing anything from them, and I guess if I have, it's been forever since I have. But I did receive one of those letters. I say take full advantage of it. I believe they're willing to give you a free year's uh, life lock, a subscription to that. If it's all for free and there's no nothing attached, I say do it. And then just cancel it after the year's over with. Uh, do, 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 do. What else we got out there? Do, 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 do. Uh, whoa, seriously? Yes. Yes, uh, like I said, they are offering you a free year's uh, subscription to LifeLock. And like I said, I would take full advantage of it. Now, I'd also remember to take advantage of when that year's up. If you no longer want it, you make sure you cut it off or they're going to start charging you. Yep. Actually, that just happened to me with an app from uh, Apple. Fuck, man. It was her PixArt. It was like a free three-day trial, so I was messing around with it. And it was like $70 a year, right? And I forgot to cancel the shit, and I got charged 70 bucks. I'm like, oh, fuck. My wife was like, what the fuck is this $70 charge? I'm like, uh, cocaine and strippers. That's what I pretty much spent uh, my uh, Apple pay on. But uh, no, that wasn't it. It was actually PixArt. It was a real pain in the ass to get it back, too, because you got to, like, call pain yeah. no. that's why whenever i like order from anything online vaping or i use a credit card i don't use my debit card because lose a credit card company all you gotta do is call and tell them and bam it's like taken care of but like your bank like they take your money out of your account it's always a bitch trying to get it back yeah uh steve wants to know did eight vape get hit too i have not heard anything about that one uh, Ashley's got. I am wondering if that is how my card got hacked twice this past year. Got the yeah, one I mean, last week. It's very possible. 
I don't know how big of a breach they actually had. I'm assuming that if their site was breached, they got everybody's, you know. It's, ha it's happened, not with Element Vape, but with other vape shops. Like, I, there's like a bunch this has happened to over the past couple of years. Like, it seems like every couple months there's like a vape shop that gets their shit taken out of Yeah. So, the credit card. Don't use a debit card. Or get a prepaid credit card. You want me totally safe. Yeah, I know in this day and age that, you know, companies like LifeLock and other, I mean, a lot of people do that now anyway because there's so many people that shop from the internet now. Mm -hmm. You know, opposed to actually going somewhere, but and it's not even really that that you have to shop on the internet. It's that if you're using your card somewhere, you know. PayPal used to have this virtual credit card thing. Yeah. You have a credit card on the top of your screen number. You can use that as a credit card. It was pretty cool. I don't think they still have it though. No, I don't. Uh, they might like a burner card. They are called burner cards. That's a smart idea. I know a couple of uh, Chase does it, I think. Uh, there's uh, one or two banks do it uh, that are pretty cool. Um, it would change every time you make a purchase. Yeah, and you can, like, set your own. Somebody was, oh, uh, the Plumes of Hazards guy was talking about it uh, a couple of weeks back. You can basically make, like, your own, um, you know, make your own, uh, like, burner card, and you can f put as much money on You can make, like, a, let's say you're buying something for 54 bucks. You can put a $54 limit on it, and somebody tries to charge it anymore. And, uh, you know, it won't go through. It'll decline, which is pretty neat. Yeah, but could you use that at for vaping? Since you can't really use PayPal for electronic yeah. cigarette devices or anything. I think it was a, like, it was like a MasterCard thing. Oh, yeah. So yeah. I accepted MasterCard. But I think you need to have the PayPal debit card, whatever. It's a long... I don't think they do it anymore, though. <clears throat> uh, Terry wants to know, Mark, how's the bathroom and strippers? <laughs> the bathroom? The bathroom's here? Yeah. Not, the toilets are nice, but the water pressure for the toilet's not the greatest, so... Are you still taking those nice oily showers? Yes. Oh, the, the, ugh, the water softeners. Oh, my God. It makes you feel like you got soap on your skin all the time. Mm. First time... I don't think it... Probably the first time I've ever experienced water softening before because I had no idea. I thought it was the soap I was using. Oh, now hold on. So tonight is the night of the play, correct? Yep. So everybody's going and you're staying behind? Me, Angela, or I think Garrett's staying behind. Me we, too. I'm not going What are y'all doing? Just chilling at the house? Mm hmm. I Probably. guess. Gotcha. You guys are going to there, right? No. Yeah. What time does that event get cranked up? Um, eight o'clock, I think, for them. Okay, it's still what, like, five something there, right? Um, I think yeah. so. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Pal did show up to that event, um, oh, cool. but Mark was not there again. Much. Yeah, we went there early. Like, I think we went there at twelve, and I left probably at. 2.30 or 3. Once the crowd got really heavy, I'm like, okay, this is way too many people. Yep. Uh, hold on. I'm actually yeah. looking at something here. Give me just a second. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, that's not jiving. That's just jiving. Okay. That's uh, fun, guys. There Yo. he is. That's my brother right there. What's up, Phenom? What's going on, bro? How you hey, feeling, man? We miss you here, ST. I know. I miss being there with y'all, man. But I know there was a vote. Y'all said y'all didn't want me here, there, so I was like, okay, well, I'll stay behind then. <laughs> Phenom actually went on the little ripcord across uh, Fremont Street. That shit was crazy, dude. Damn, Damn. you did. Mm -hmm. Superman, yeah. Wow. That thing's on up pretty high, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty high. It's pretty wow. high That's crazy. Do they still have the laser show? Do they still have the laser show on Fremont Street? What's that? The, yeah, yeah that, that cool laser ass show that goes up on the thing? Yeah, we were there during the day, so. I mean, 
get to see that stuff. Yeah, Fremont's fun. Yeah. All right. Later, guys. Later. See you, buddy. So, yes, ST was kicked off the island. That is true, Brittany. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's see Later, later. Later. Uh, I heard Phenom paid for the whole trip for everyone. That is not true. He paid for everybody in Vegas to be in Vegas. Mm -hmm. I mean, the people that are in Vegas right now are there because of Phenom. I already actually bought a casino while he was there. That's where they're going right now. They're actually going to the show where he purchased that at. I heard he also he came he went down there put ten grand on black and just said fuck it and uh, shit that's crazy yeah that's uh it's locked I think we're live by the way wow somebody screaming out shit they ain't supposed to be no he says Garrett said he's hopping in the room I said we're live yeah tell him to give us just a few before he does all that. Yes, sir, yes. <laughs> <sighs> Uh, question for you, Ronnie. Is everyone going to the New York show? I don't know. I I will be there because it's in New York, obviously. But yes. I don't know. I mean, it's a it's an NVE event, so. So typically, every time there is like a vaping expo, they have an after party that evening, and uh, oh, later there, Michael. Um. Somebody host an after show party, and this will be hosted by Ronnie, so everybody will be at Ronnie's house. Yep. You, you can stay there. You can park for free. You can do whatever you want. He's got to have, like, all-you-can-eat buffets at the house. Nice. So, thank you for the donation there, Patrick King. Mark, you see my sad face soto from Brian. That was He probably forced you to do that. That is kind of jacked up. Patrick King, isn't it Amy? No. No. She is uh, Shane. Oh, okay. Patrick, yeah. see, Patrick, he doesn't even realize that you're a real person, much less going to be at an event to meet you, so. I think they forced him to take that photo. That was, that's a pretty funny one there, Cordova. Damn. Gotta say. Uh... One ball in the mortal mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Left, though. Until these motherfuckers get down. Yeah. Uh, definitely gonna try and go. Go on, babe. I am not going out tonight, Joey. I'm done. We went to Fremont Street at like what noon or one, and we walked and walked and walked and done. Yeah. Yeah, I. Those they have those kind of like bricked streets there, so they're a little rough. And I know that scooters are not really accessible down those streets because they are rough. So he actually had to walk today. So I know he's worn out. There are a lot of scooters. Yeah, when you come to Vegas, like I think, in order to do the to do like the whole nightlife thing and really enjoy it, you have to drink. Because you have to have the alcohol to kind of keep you fueled and let it keep going. Yeah. If well, you don't think you're doing anything else, you're going to get tired eventually and you want to go home. Well, I hope this one makes you feel better. Thank you again for the donation there, Mr. Patrick King. Spent 500 bucks to meet Mark. Wow. That's, de that's definitely Amy. No, 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 no. Patrick King is real. Well, Patrick, no. He yes. No. Not yes. buying what he's no hey. one spent five hundred dollars to come meet me. That's for damn sure. Patrick has been in our chats for a long time now, so I know that one's a real one. Oh, Patrick, if you're real and you're still in Vegas, you can come to the house. He's at yeah. the house right now. So if y'all haven't had dinner and you want to come have, you'll have to bring dinner, of course, because he's not going to go out and get it. But <laughs> well, I take that back. Y'all still got those cold tacos in the fridge? We can actually do. I can warm them up. Yeah, there you go. 
No, Vegas isn't short of alcohol by any means. No, there's like a liquor store. Like everybody sells liquor. Like even places that wouldn't normally sell liquor. Tom wants to know: Do you guys get the Tarin RTA yet? Yes. Even heard it. Oh, you got it running. What is it? I'm using it right now. It's it's good. Mike just did a review on it. It's just super heavily branded. I mean, if it wasn't for that, it would be really good. It's a little restrictive, but it's not bad. You get on the torn back mod. That's actually somebody was asking about the ring that I was wearing earlier. I have a brass ring. Yeah, buddy. There you go. I'm torn. It actually fits my fat finger too, so I don't know if that was probably by mistake or what, but because I got some pretty massive sausage fingers and the shit fits. So. So. Joey hmm. V mentioned Del Taco, baby, and that's exactly what they had. Yep, Del Tacos. Yep. They're actually, I mean, they're like a step up from Taco Bell. Well, I would imagine so. I would think they're like quite a bit of a step up than Taco Bell. I wouldn't say like a dramatic step up, but they're a slight step up. Taco Bell. Yeah. Well, I mean, though, you bought what? You said, what, two, three hundred dollars worth of tacos? So, I mean... <laughs> And dollars in tacos because Brian and Matt swore that everyone was going to come here and be hungry, and sure enough, nobody wanted to eat Del Tacos. Damn, Damn 20 bucks for a pack of smokes on Las Vegas Boulevard. Yep. How would you know that, Joey? How would you know that a pack of smokes is 20 bucks? Please don't tell me you stopped by the store to pick up a pack of smokes now. I think in New York City, they're like 18 bucks. Uh, did they ever fix the battery life problem on the Aegis Legend? To my knowledge, there is an update that supposedly fixed that. But I don't have an Aegis Legend, so I couldn't tell you. I just know that there was a firmware update for that. Thank you for the donation there, Mitchell. Uh, bring me back some gummies. Uh, well, that'll be a little bit hard to do because the event's over with. I actually bought a jar of gummies on Fremont Street. Pickle said, I want to lick taco sauce off of ST's head. Nice. We can do that. I don't know if that would leave like a little bit of a you know rash or anything, but I guess depending on how hot the sauce is. What's up, mm. Gary Newsom? What's up, Gary? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was just kidding, Joey V. Don't be getting all crazy on me now. All right, if you want to bombard chat with some questions, we got just a few more to go, and then I'm going to cut this. Uh, Steve, cut it. Steve says the update for the legend fixes battery problems. Yeah, that's that's what I was saying. There you go. Or at least that's what I heard. So, uh, Terry says your trailer is nice, Mark. You forgot to lock it up. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you gotta love that shit. Mark had one chance to meet Todd and he missed it. No, he didn't. I did not. He met him. Before I left, I made sure I met him. Yes, there's pictures of those two together. Yep. They're actually hugging, and there's a nice romantic kiss caught on picture, so. Hmm. Uh, do, 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 do. ST, can you boot Ronnie Cash? I, I can, but I'm not going to. Pickle, tickle. How about you pickle my fucking asshole? How about that? Uh, what's up, Ronnie Murray? Uh, you can enjoy the most on meat, your trip. Meat Packers, how you like the audio on the knockballs? I do like that. Uh, most of us that are playing the game have done the update. Now I have sound of that game. That uh, is an awesome Country Boy says, if someone meets Matt, a.k.a. Suck My Mod, ask him where I can find his Nudge 22 RDA. Didn't we ask that question last night when Matt was at the house? Just, he didn't, like... He didn't respond, did he? Not for sale? I don't know. Well, I'm you got to remember, I think when that question was asked, Matt's a little sensitive about that subject. Uh... Matt had a lot of issues with that particular RDA, and it caused him a lot of personal grief. And there was actually some other people 
I mean, it's a big, long story, but he was very saddened by all that, so. Well, they were using iron, I guess, yeah. the metal to make it, so, so people were big. He didn't really want to. He didn't really want to bring it up or talk about it, so I'm trying to sit here and keep a straight face while I say all this shit, but it's not working, so. Uh, Brooklyn Vapor wants to know, Mark, how's the mag grip treating you? Beautifully. I'm loving it. No issues. I've used it, uh, when I came here, I used it Thursday and most of Friday. Nice, nice. Beautiful. Well, uh... So I'm I'm kind of confused on Catherine Noble's question there. Uh, let me go back. Anybody want? <laughs> what was his question? Uh, anybody want to trade him? Uh, that question right there can get you booted. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, for sure it can. You're all walking that fine line. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> uh, what's going on, Batman? How you doing, brother? I don't think that's um, legal. Yeah, it's not so, but I'm 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 being discreet. I'm holding my own with this one, but questions like that will get you out of here pretty quick. Uh what else have we got? A couple of a couple of few last questions and then we are about to jet. I've done this every night now. I feel like since I feel like I've done this every night since my show from last Tuesday night. Uh, do, 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 do. I know. I think you were live. I have, but I was on my show. I went think. Yeah, I went on heavies, and then I did the show for Thursday. I did something. Yeah, I've done something every night. So <laughs> I'm kind of. I'm. Yeah, as much as I love Vegas, like I cannot wait to get home. Yeah, well, you've you've I love you've had a house, but there's always that. All right, I'm not really seeing anything. Yes, it's just an hour show tonight, folks. That's that's all I got in me. Please understand, that's all I got in me tonight. So, uh, we are going to get out of here. I hope, uh, I hope y'all enjoyed everything. If not. Send your complaints to Mark. So, no, I'm not a. I'm <laughs> never mind. I ain't gonna get all that shit. I love y'all all. We're out of here. Let me do this little fade out, and then we can talk. We can say a joke or two, then we're gonna get the fuck out of here. So watch this. Let's do the fade away. Booyah! Look at that. Not another vape show fade away right there. Thank you for joining us. We will catch y'all. At some point, we'll probably catch every goddamn night. We'll just leave it like that. Every night, if you want to see us, just click on somebody's channel. You'll see it. Yes, you can see it for me one more time, please. Get busy living or get busy dying, folks. One or the other. Got to do it. Oh, by the way, smoking them blunts all the way.